Hey everybody, it is Friday evening. I have uh, not been this excited about Friday since last Friday. And we're headed to Bass Pro, uh, done with work. I'm gonna see if there's any last minute things that I need for the Patriot Games. And um, I don't think I need anything, but we're gonna go anyway. We're gonna see if they got any ammo. And I already got word that there's nothing at Rural King. Uh, yes, I have a mustache. I decided to spruce myself up for the games. Uh, after Bass Pro, I need to get some food for the competition this weekend, and um, there'll be no hunting this weekend, because I'm probably going to be sore and tired. So after this little Bass Pro run, we'll probably pick it up on Monday. So let's head to Bass Pro, and let's see what they got. In the reloading section, a lot of bullets, a lot of bullets, and then we've got some primers. Large Magnum pistol primers and large Magnum rifle primers. No prices, but probably $6.99 or $7.99. That's a good sign. They're out on the shelves. All right, in the shotgun aisle, they've got some Remington double up buck nine pellets, and they got some Remington one ounce slugs, and then some Federal one ounce slugs. These will probably be here for a while, so I'm gonna wait to pick those up next time I'm in. And then really not much else. Got some seven and a half shot, some bulk boxes, but nothing, nothing else I'm interested in. And we got some CCI Subsonic 22. Those are hundred round packs for 12, and they're hollow points. And these are just regular 22 Federal, five bucks, too expensive. And we got some clean 22. They're polymer coated. I don't know the price on those. No price. Everything else? The same. Nothing super new overall. All this stuff is pretty much the same, except for that amount of nine that came in. That's a lot of ammo. That's all 762 by 39. In this row, that's all that Venom 9, that's CCI 9, that's 10 millimeter, that's 9, that's some uh, 40 self defense. A lot of ammo here at Rural King, but it's a little too expensive. Alright, they got a lot of ammo. Wasn't able to come over the weekend. We got 25 Auto 38 Special that's been here since last week. We got 6 of Butter, same price. It's a uh, 40 for 100. You got aluminum, 17 for 50. You got shot shells. And you got regular old 115 grain. And then that, those are hollow points. So that's uh, a little over 50 cents for a hollow point. That's a bucket of bullets. That's 350 for 140. And then all that self defense. 45, which will be here forever because that's a dollar a round. And then that same 45 that's been there, the 50 AE, 40 on the bottom row. All that stuff's been here forever. Not gonna, not gonna cover it. Then we got some 350 Legend, six millimeter Creedmoor. We got 450 Bushmaster, 30 30, 300 Savage, 35 Remington. 22,250, 2506, 7mm, 8 somebody was asking about that. We got a ton of 300 blackout subs for 18 bucks. I might get some of that. 308, all that 308 is the same. All that 762 by 39 is gone. We got a big bulk boxes of. Uh, 20 gauge, more 20 gauge, and this is what I was looking at the other day. We got double out bucks, we got one ounce slug, one ounce slug, double out buck. I got those, so I'm probably gonna get some slugs to test. So that'll that'll do it over here, on the, and then a lot of Super X, Winchester, it's 159 for 250. We got large Magnum rifle primers and 
thought I saw a pistol, but large magnum rifle primers, more large magnum rifle primers. Number 215, GM 215M. Not bad. Still the same price. I was going through all my ammo and I'm getting a little low on 556-223, but these prices are just too high. Over 50 cents a round and I'm not doing it. We got some Browning 22, 37 grain. Those are eight bucks for 50, that's too high. We got Clean 22, 11 bucks for 100, that's still too high. Five dollars for 50, it's still too high for me. And we got 22 HMR or WMR and 17 HMR. At my closest Walmart, we got some 12 gauge eight shot. We got those 100 round packs of 12 gauge eight shot. 28 gauge and that Remington is 16 gauge, more 16 gauge, 28 gauge, Winchester Defenders. Got some rifle rounds. We got 762 by 51 for 23. Not terrible. We got 20 gauge 8 shot, 350 Legend, 30 30, 222 Remington, and then 12 and 20 gauge. Nothing here that I really want, so. Big shipment of 9. Got a lot of 9mm. All these value packs and then herders. That's the cheapest around. 500 rounds for 160. Got a lot of 270. 25 out 6. Got some 6.5 Grendel. And a bunch of 450 Bushmaster. A lot of those 308 has been here for a while. And then we got more. Primers. So we got large pistol primers, large magnum rifle primers, and large magnum rifle primers. Those pistol primers are number 150. It's 100 primers for 11 bucks. Back at the house, recap time. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I had the Patriot Games this past weekend. I didn't do a ton of hunting. I just went pretty much Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today's Wednesday. I'm on call tomorrow, so I'm doing my outro right now. I'll still post it on Thursday, but I didn't really get a ton of ammo. Uh, I went to Rural King and I got some just empty shipping boxes that they receive their ammo in and they were broken down. And I was like, can I get a couple of boxes? And they're like, sure. Just to kind of organize my closet, it's getting a little out of control with um, what I have. And when I was kind of organizing, I realized that I'm getting a little bit low on 5.56. It's not one of those calibers that I've been concentrating on because it's over what I'm willing to pay, and that's 50 cents a round. Um, I might have to increase the max I'm willing to pay, but I really don't want to. We're going to have Black Friday sales coming up, and then Christmas, and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that that 556 comes down in price to 50 cents or below so I can pick up a bunch of it because I am getting a little bit low. I've already signed up for the next Patriot Games and I have some testing to do to test a theory of mine, which I'm gonna make in a Patriot Games video probably for next Saturday. And that's uh, LVPO versus just a red dot. And I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. You'll just have to tune in and watch. But as far as nine millimeter goes, the best place to buy nine millimeter is Bass Pro. It's just, it's just the cheapest around. And on Friday, I got a bunch of herders, nine millimeter. And then this was kind of before I organized my ammo and I have, I've got quite a bit of nine millimeter. So uh, there was a 500 round pack of nine millimeter herders at Bass Pro today. I did not pick it up because I did realize I have quite a bit and I'd rather, finish some of the builds that I have going so, and not pick up another 500 rounds of nine millimeter. But on Friday I got these, you saw in the video, the tag said 17.99, but that was actually for an Ammo Ink brand of nine millimeter and these were 16.99. And then those 500 round packs were 160 for 500. And that's actually $10 cheaper than a few weeks ago. Um, my buddy Frank looked up one of the pictures that he sent me and it was 170, so now it's 160. It's 32 cents around. You're just not gonna get a better deal right now for brass nine millimeter in that quantity. So I got five boxes of Herders nine millimeter. I also showed all those one ounce slugs and I left them there because I knew that they wouldn't fly off the shelves, especially at like a dollar around or over. 
and I was right. So on Monday, I went and I got some Remington slugs, the one ounce slugs. These are 1560 feet per second, and then some Federal Power Shook, Power Shock slugs, and these are one ounce again, 1610 feet per second. So I'm gonna do some testing out of the Rock Island Armory 12 gauge, and uh, I'm interested to see how those perform compared to those Winchester Defenders. Along with those, they had a lot of rifle rounds this week, and one of the things that they had were Winchester Subsonic 300 blackout. These are 200 grain, open tip, and the muzzle velocity is uh, 1060 at the muzzle, all the way down to 916 at 200 yards. These will not break the sound barrier as long as you have a suppressor. It is safe. It's probably one of the best rounds for shooting inside when stuff goes bump in the night and you don't necessarily have your ear protection right there. The suppressed three inch blackout is the way to go for home defense in one respect, if you have a suppressor. Uh, so I got three boxes of these, 18 bucks. You really can't beat that for suppressed or subsonic 300 blackout. So on Tuesday, I went and I got five more boxes. So I got eight, eight boxes of suppressed or subsonic 300 blackout. 18 bucks a piece, that's a pretty good deal. So I wanted to stock up while the getting's good. And they still had some today. I could have gotten more, but I didn't. Because like I said, I want to finish some of my belts. It's <sighs> a lot of talking. Last week's video was way too long. I'm sorry for that. So I'm trying to keep this one shorter. A lot of calibers there. Uh, 22, 17 HMR, 22 WMR. Um, 38 Special was in abundance this week. Uh, 25 Auto. Um, there was 40, 45, 50 AE, and then getting into the rifle rounds, there was 222 Remington, there was 25 aught 6, there was 7 millimeter aught 8, 300 blackout subs, 270, um, 6.5 Grendel, 450 Bushmaster, 308, um, 25, 22, 250, I think it is, and there are a lot of hunting rounds, and they are staying on the shelves longer. A lot of companies are starting to ship ammo again. I know Academy is shipping ammo again. And I'm getting emails every day from, you know, Palmetto State Armory and Midway, Rainier Arms and Primary Arms. Like everybody's, everybody's trying to get rid of all this inventory that they have. So I hope that the ammo situation is getting better in your area. I know it's getting pretty good in my area. I just wish the price of 5.56 would come down to below 50 cents a round. Um, I really don't want to go above 50 cents a round, but I might have to because I entered the Patriot Games again and I have to test. I have to do more practicing. My accuracy needs to improve. So that's going to do it for this one. If you got any questions or comments, let me know down below. Uh, I always have a, like a list of things I want to say in these videos and I always forget something. So like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. Check out my affiliate links. To all those who have placed an order through my uh, affiliate links, I thank you very much. More money to help out the channel. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Let's go Brandon.